All right, people, we here. Got that Mafia 3 today, baby. We out here. We out here. I'm sorry about the delay, man, but it's all good, though. It's all good. I know we got day to eat around the corner. It's going to be a, one hell of a busy week for me, but I don't care, man. It'll be all worth it. Let's get in here, buddy. Aim assist. Uh, we got aim assist high. I don't get it. Yeah, and I also got a poster. Just got a poster free at GameStop, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. them to send a message or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor sal marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash new bordeaux safety family all here to talk to you make it your next vacation destination this city survived the war of 1812 the civil war and god knows how many hurricanes but when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in those 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white. Maybe he's not Italian. Not that it matters. Back then, if you were black, you black. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. So when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He's a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. Frankie thought he'd turn it now. Thing is, once that's lost, Shame what happened. It breaks my heart.
Let's do this shit. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grab the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Hmm. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. Um. Lincoln, pick up the keys. The keys, the keys. Uh. Right. Oh, square. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through <laughs> with the truck just like he asked. He agrees his partner to make it. All right. Hey, man. Got the keys. No witnesses, motherfucker. Oh, All right, then. There's that. God damn. <laughs> no fucking witnesses. I'm sick of this bullshit. Now you die. Have a nice life in hell, bitch. Let's go. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. All right. Let's go. All right. Um, how the fuck we? Go. That was shit. Oh. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. But you, you was in my way though, so get the fuck away from my damn way. Get a move on. Let's go. All right, let me open the door, man. What are you? Well, what is that? Oh, it ain't starting. Really? Oh. Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Mm. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this, what's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? Are well, you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai, evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran every day. Anyway, we getting them onto a medical ship. This woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. You gonna tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something? I mean... God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. God, these damn brakes. What is wrong with these brakes? Guards at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat.
Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Now, right, here we go. Come on. Put your IDs up to the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. Appointment of action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. Oh, fuck, I gotta bring the money. Too damn good to bring your... It's okay, no. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. Well, hurry up. Yeah. My god, damn. Ain't day. seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job, but that old nigga who staggers in is hiding on the spot. What? What? Oh, <laughs> what, say? What, what is our guy? Oh. These bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Doesn't make a lick Here we are. <laughs> oh my god. Put those bags on the table there. Mm -hmm. Alright. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. I told her I wasn't interested. I never was neither till I saw this. At least with. Shut your ass up. Get your ass in there, motherfucker. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Right, give me a second. I don't got nowhere to put this damn body yet, dude. Damn. You take care of those guards. Keep your 